Hey guys, welcome to the Hangout Hut. I'm your host, Matt Bueller, and I'm back here again with another drawing tutorial. And today we are going to draw Super Mario. For over 30 years, Super Mario has been known as the legendary icon of gaming. And you can see over the years he's been through the 8-bit generation, the 16-bit generation, and all the 3D generations to follow, which were Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy, and much, much more. And it's definitely been uh, one of my favorite video game series of all time. In addition to the mainstream series, Super Mario has been in different sports games, such as Mario Kart, Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, and is the first among many of the Super Smash Bros. characters in the official rosters for each of the five games. So put on a red hat and blue overalls because now we are going to draw Super Mario. So I have a horizontal laid paper in landscape mode. Um, if you're using a digital art program like uh, Krita, um, then you can have the dimension set to 1920 by 1080. So this is um, this is my preference, but like any way that you would want, then you can set it to how you want. So, anyways, uh, let's get started. I'm going to be using uh, red for my uh, sketch layer, and before we draw every character, we got to plan out how we're going to uh, draw the character. I, and we can do this by sketching. So the first thing we're going to do is make a circle. And I'm going to change the brush size down a little bit so it's nice and light. So we're going to make a circle about the size of a tennis ball, baseball, one of those. And you want to get many revolutions in there so we can see the circle. And then you want to make dividing lines to show the midpoint of the circle. Because we are going to draw Mario's face in a sort of face-to-face -face view. It's not really angled perspective. We're going to draw it straight on. So, so that's that. There's our circle with our uh, sketch lines. So that'll that'll help us determine where the uh, how the face placement is going to go. So we're going to lower the opacity down. Move on to our next layer, which is our sketch layer. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. We're going to draw the, the nose that'll be in the center. Oh, that's a little too small. You want to you want to have it be much bigger. You And Mario likes pizza and spaghetti. Uh, he's if you if you remember from the 80s cartoons, he he is definitely an eater, <laughs> a lo lover of Italian foods. So make sure to make his nose uh, pretty big. This is a good size. You can go a little bigger if you want. Okay, so after the nose, we're gonna do the eyes, and I'm gonna be. Doesn't want to be circles, but you want to make sure they look like olives, sort of. So you want to draw that, and then on the other side, you want to make sure. See this? Yeah, this drawing is all about symmetry, because one side looks the same as the other. At least it's supposed to. make it extend it up a little bit so it matches with this eye you want to have the same on both sides so that's the eyes and after the eyes uh, the mustache you want to put under the nose and you want to make it like a cloud shape you want to make sure you curve it some so you can have some nice depth to it and the, t the tip of this part of the mustache, you want to go over the dividing line uh, for the horizontal line. And just meet it back with the nose. And do 
do one more over here. Okay, so we got the eyes, the nose, and the mustache so far of Mario's face. So next we are going to do under the lip. We're going to make a little chin. It's definitely noticeable. You can even like put a little little lines over here showing that he's like smiling because you can't really see his mouth because his mustache is covering the top the top lip of his mouth but you can see that he's he's definitely a bright character so and that's why I make him smile <clears throat> so next we are going to do the the very bottom of his face we're gonna make another arc under here. This is going to be his bottom chin. Like the bottom of his head. This is going to be the bottom of his head. This is his chin, but that's the bottom of his head. And then on both sides we are um, we're going to make sort of like a curved L shape. See, yeah, this is going to be different from the bottom of his head there, because that's more of his facial expression area. I want to make sure I get this right. And you want to do the same on the other side. Okay, uh, alright, next we are going to draw the hair, which is going to be right about here. Now Mario's hair is more, it's like bushy and curvy, uh, not really that pointy because he is, that's, that's how Mario's hair goes. And for a second you want to imagine he's bald because uh, he wears a hat, so we're gonna, we're gonna draw on the hat later, but we want to like assume for now that that he's he has hair on the sides but not up top so that's how we're gonna just draw the hair right now and it's gonna look like a nose sort of <laughs> and then next to the hair you want to draw the ears they'll be on the sides of Mario's face you can hear the birds chirping outside it's such a lovely day uh, I think, it, yeah, I think it's in the 60s, and to me, it's, it's uh, uh, really nice weather. 70s is perfect. It's kind of debatable, though. Anyways, I want to get off topic, so let's get, let's get back to the tutorial. So, we'll draw the eyebrows, and they're, like, pointing down, because you can see Mario is a man of action. So we're just going to draw those in there. Like crescent shapes. And then um, next we're going to draw Mario's hat. Now this this will be like the top of his hat and we're we're going to this is going to be like the first part of his hat which is the main part. And what we're going to do is start from this ear right here because the ear and the hat connect together so we're gonna come up from from the bottom there and curve up and as always in a sketch you don't want to be uh, you, you don't need to be perfect in a sketch because the outlining part is gonna come up real soon, as soon as we're done. The sketching is just the planning uh, portion of the drawing. So we're gonna make that there. Okay, now for... The, uh, Mario also has a stem part of his hat, and the bottom of the stem uh, lays just over his eyebrows, like there's like little or no space there. So to make sure that Mario's hat 
stays fit. Fit on his head. And some more shadowing we're gonna put. I wanna make sure that it's nice and even. Since we are focusing on symmetry right here. Okay, so for the top of his stem, we're just gonna like make another layer up. And curve back down around here. That'll be good for a st um, stem of his hat, of Mario's hat. And now we're gonna make a circle here. This is where his logo, his well-known logo is going to be, where the M, in this circle right here. And we're going to make it, we're not making a, a full circle because um, part of part of his circle is being covered by uh, the stem of his hat. So uh, now we can draw the logo in. I have to zoom in some to get that because it's kind of tight. It's a, ni it's a nice little text detail to have. And that's pretty much it for the sketch. We just have to uh, go in more on the eyes and make the uh, pupils so it doesn't look like a ghost. And fun fact, if you played uh, Super Mario Galaxy, uh, the first one, there is a power-up called the Boo Mushroom, and as and if Mario eats the Boo Mushroom, then you can turn into one of these ghosts called Boos. Uh, they're, re they're really adorable, and the <laughs> uh, funny thing is, if Mario uh, run, if Mario, like, encounters a Boo in... Uh, one of the, those levels, the the other boo falls in love, which I think it's a I think it's a really funny, like a, a really funny feature. Then after that, you are basically ready to outline. To save time in this video, I have sped up the outlining and coloring process. And when that is complete, here is the finished product of Super Mario. Thanks for viewing this tutorial today. Like they say, you can't rush art, so expect these drawing tutorials to be about 15 minutes or longer in length. If there are any questions or comments about this tutorial that you would like me to answer, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Who knows, maybe I'll be answering in a future video. Also, if you guys have any requests for a certain character or object that you would like me to present in a video, also be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for visiting the Hangout Hut, and I hope you had an enjoyable time. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like to tell me I did a great job. As always, I am willing to reply back to feedback, so be sure to comment down below. To keep up to date with my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel, as well as follow my new Instagram account, at hangout underscore hut, to get in on the buzz. I will look forward to seeing you guys again at the hut real soon.